Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we have two news and two frequently asked questions which we're going to attend to two different softwares. And these softwares are basically Twinmotion and also SketchUp. So the very first one has to do with Twinmotion and then the second one has to do with SketchUp and you know vice versa. So let's just get into the news. So just recently we did talk about Epic and their whole thing with Quixel and in the same day there was a small release that had to do with Epic also announcing the fact that the Unreal studio will be making its way to epic and at the same time there was also another announcement of twin motion you know progressively remaining free till 2020 so we did talk about twin motion especially when they were bought and also the fact that twin motion was going to be available all the way to november 2019 but now there is a release statement saying that twin motion is going to be available till 2020 and they will be releasing another fresh version within the first quarter of 2020. Now I've been in contact with the guys from Twinmotion and we've talked about a couple of things. I did send them most of the things that you guys have sought for, some things which I think should exist in the program. And yeah, so let's just keep our fingers crossed and believe that all of these new features that we're kind of hoping for are going to make their way to Twinmotion 2020. With that said, let's get over to the second news and also talk about, you know, what's cool with SketchUp Wayhouse. So we did talk about SketchUp Wayhouse last week within the Free Friday. Well, I got to tell you guys that, you know, SketchUp Wayhouse is this cool, amazing place where you can get free models, all right? I don't know if they saw the news, I don't know, but you know, moving on from the next day or two days later, we did get an update coming from the guys at Trimble. Now for you to be able to download models from the SketchUp Warehouse, whether you're using the software, which is the SketchUp itself, or you're using, you know, the 3D Warehouse from the website, you need to have a login detail for you to do that, which I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. Could be good, could be bad, but I kind of preferred it earlier when you don't have to do any of this registration or login in things because you know it just makes it look more cool now let's move over to the questions that was asked so the very first question has to do with sketchup and then the second one has to do with twin motion so let's just get started with talking about the sketchup real quick because we need this sketchup file for twin motion so the very first one has to do with how do you get your elevations directly here in sketchup so if you're using sketchup for the first time or if you've been using sketchup for a while there is a tool or there is a program on the other side that is called the sketchup layout so you can use sketchup layout to actually get your elevations put them directly on your you know architectural sheet or your design sheet and print it from there but then how do you get your elevations directly here so how you can do this is relatively simple first things first you need to come over to this section called camera and switch over to your parallel projection so with parallel projection set now you'll be able to see this in autographic view so from here i'm going to just simply move over to this camera switch and now i can go to the left side if i want then you have something like this if this is what you want then of course you can go through and keep this and a quick way to actually look at this is by right clicking directly here and let's simply find our view window so i'm just going to bring the view window here drop it somewhere around here and now we can simply switch in between these and get what we want so if you want to create your elevations or you want elevations for your plans your buildings all that stuff you can have these things here and the cool thing is by default if you come over to the file and move to the export you can simply export these as dwg which you can edit in both autocad or some other 3d softwares and at the same time you can still edit this or export this as png so that you can edit it in photoshop so the next thing which you would like to know about this which is a plus uh is from here you can actually come through and simply all right and simply change the way your object looks so in case you want to create something that would look like you know 2d drawings of course you can get this so that you can export this out and do some amazing cool stuff with it so i'll kind of advise you to come through and play with this and see how it works moving on to twin motion so the next question i was asked in twin motion is if you have a scene like this how do you cut this through so just in case you want to see on the ground you want to see the water you have a scene like this how do you cut it through so i'm going to answer that real quick so first things first let me just simply switch this over to the autographic view which is here sorry perspective view so i'm switching this over here and i'm going to simply click c in twin motion so if you have twin motion installed let me just simply drag this over to the screen here so that you guys can see and let's just dock it by the side so if you simply click here go over to this section say new and simply say okay so if you want to check out how you can install twin motion and probably install the plugin i did talk about the plugin somewhere in the description so you can check that video out and also see what it looks like 
All right, so now we're in Twin Motion, the paradise land where we get to do anything that we want. So let's just get started. We're talking about how you can actually get these things working. So what we need to do first and foremost is to take out the starting ground, which we can do by simply clicking this on and off and getting rid of that. Next, we need to go over to vegetation landscape and drag in a flat you know terrain so we need to drag in the flat landscape so that we can play with it now the reason why you're dragging in the flat landscape is so you can sculpt directly there this would give you way more opportunities to change play and you know decorate your scene the way you want let's actually elevate this a little bit more exactly to this point where we want it to be and if we can simply jump right around here you'll be able to see that we don't see our water anymore so what we need to do now is by simply selecting this you'll see this tool called sculpt and now i'm going to just simply sculpt around this and sculpt this totally out so let's just do that real quick and so with this sculpting done the next thing which we need to do is by simply coming all the way up to this point where we have the material scroll all the way down find the water material click pull drag drop so with the pool there, you can now see that we can see directly what's happening underneath there. Let's go back, select this again and simply scope this lower. So I'm just going to scope this all the way down. So let's scope this all the way down to hide that. You can actually increase intensity if you think what you have is too low. So I can push this all the way down to this point. Okay, so we can actually change the water as well. So I think something like this looks pretty neat. Then of course we can maybe throw in this other one which is as a third one we can actually look at these things from different points of view so with this done we now have our underground and you can see through it and you can see what you have directly in here so if you have projects like this and you're thinking about how to play with them this is exactly how you can play with them and how you can get the most out of things like this and with that done the next thing which you need to do is just do a little bit of beautification you know play around your scene here and there try to make some lightings you know do the best things you want if you want to learn more about twin motion there is an entire playlist dedicated to twin motion for beginners all the way to advanced so you can actually go there and learn as much as you want there is also a couple of frequently asked questions there and if you have questions about twin motion you also have questions about sketchup please put them down in the comment section and I'll do my best to attend to those questions. And so that's about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Did you learn something from this? Do you like what you've just seen? If you have questions about this, please put them in the comment section and I'll do my best to come through for you guys. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.